Bra. What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today I have 4 stories coming out of the subreddit Adult Worker Lady. We are close to reaching 2500 subscribers thanks to you my people and to thank you for this amazing journey I will be giving away 4 Amazon gift cards of either $25 or $50. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel to stay tuned when the giveaway will happen. Like this video if you are having fun with me and drop a fire emoji in the comments if you think this video is fire. Congratulations Kim for the comment of the day. Bra Preteen piss because I did not respond. I had left work the other day, still in my previous work clothes that just happened to be jeans and a t-shirt. So nothing special, no orange apron. And I decided to stop in the garden center of a Home Depot. I am just casually looking at the plants outside, moving stuff around to look at what's healthy. And I noticed this group of like 13 to 14 year old girls working around. I did not pay any attention to them and just kept looking. One of them started saying, hey, every couple of steps. Then she starts snapping too, until I realized that she is talking to me. I had already seen them and I knew I didn't know anything about them. And I turned and this skinny little all made up basically child was glaring at me with her hands on her hips. Obviously pissed off and probably having seen a pairing ad entitled toward customer service before with three more girls behind her. I turned back to the plants and just kind of sighed, I don't work here. I heard someone laugh and they stomped off but I was just too pissed that someone that young was already acting like an entitled girl and felt the need to vent it. Damn I didn't know current behavior could be expressed at 14 years old. We need to pay attention to preteens and adolescents now. Should we have a different names for Karens that are way too young to be Karens? Because Karens are supposed to have this let me talk to your manager haircut and be like in their 30s, 40s, 50s or something. But what happens if they are 13 or 15 or 21? Should we call them Karen in training? Karen's apprentices? Karen's child? Wanna be Karen's? Hey, I'm not too creative but if you have an idea let me know down here in the comments. I no longer work here but enjoy your conviction. During uni, I used to work part-time as a barista at a local non-chain place that was heavily frequented. The lady who owned the place was mildly famous in the coffee world, having won awards such as best barista, best cafe, etc. numerous times. After a few years working there, I also managed to snag a few barista awards, which is where the problems happen. As anyone who drinks coffee knows, once you get a barista or a cafe you like, you tend to stick to them like a raccoon sticks to an unlocked dumpster. So I had a few people who only ever came in on my shift. It was mostly good. People tended to be polite but picky. I was at this stage debating if I wanted to make a career move into cafes or hospitals, so I didn't mind the few annoying people we got, cause of business and all. There was, however, one small group of very annoying people who would come in every Friday around 17.20 and we close at 17.30. They come in in their pack of 4 or 5 before shuffling back to the gaming shop a few doors down. Much as I don't mind gamers, being one, Pathfinder for the win, a couple of these guys were the stereotype never bath variety and would fill the cafe with an aroma somewhere between week old pizza and I saw a shower once and it scared me. It did not help they tended to order the most sugary, messy and non-coffee drinks on offer. Frappes, iced coffees, usually with 3 or 4 times syrups etc. It was a real pain cleaning them, it was a real pain serving them, and they made sure every Friday we finished 15 minutes later than we should have since they didn't want anyone but me making their damn drinks. Fast forward a few years, I recently graduated and started work in a new career. All is well. Celebrating at the cafe since by now I am very good friends with the owner and other staff. Officially stopped working here several weeks ago when sitting final exams etc. Good times. The mistake was this was Friday afternoon. The owner had closed off a half hour early to throw a small party. So while all the chairs were still out, all the singage has been brought in and turned off. Q1720. And our wonderful pack shuffles by, undeterred by the lack of open signs, the locked side door and the sign on the door that said private party, they shamble inside and mold around the counter. The owner informs them that the place is closed and politely asks them to leave. After some discussion among themselves, they seem to think she is lying and demand their usual. See, crap. The owner is less polite this time, firmly asks them to leave, 
we are closed and come back tomorrow. Whatever passes for a leader among this group, seriously, does it work on who has stronger BO, on who can wear the same hoodie the longest or something? Does not like this and starts yelling about discrimination and demanding service specifically from me. I inform said alpha hoodie I actually stopped working several weeks ago and even if I did still work there, there was no way I would serve him if he was acting like that. The guy did not like this one bit. His voice went up several pitches and he started squeak screaming about how we were discriminating against him, demanding I give them their drinks for free and how they were going to complain to the owner and have all of us fired. I guess he figured females can't own or operate stores, despite their name on the wall? Being refused again by myself and the owner and reminding them again that I no longer work there and then told them to leave, much less politely, the guy turns about as red a bag of Doritos I assume they had in store for later and has a total meltdown. We're talking toddler foot stamping screaming tantrum. I swear the guy was moments away from a heart attack with how red he was getting. He rages about how women can't tell him what to do, that I am lying because I am too stupid to work elsewhere, and insults me with racist remarks and then uses his considerable bulk to push the espresso machine off the counter. Now these things are not only very heavy, they are also very expensive, tens of thousands of bags of Doritos expensive. The guy is still having his tantrum when the police arrive, probably not helped by the fact once they had him sitting in the back of the car, I smirked and told him I did not work there, setting him off again. Guy ended up being charged for a handful of things, including destruction of the machine. He and his pack were obviously banned from our cafe and the neighboring ones all having a friendly relationship with us also ban him. Icing on the cake was the local gaming shop also ban him and his crew and attempted to distance themselves as much as possible from that sort of patron. I don't work here but I will sure as hell tell you what not to do. Background. I live in Hawaii and get to play hostess and tour guide whenever family comes to visit. There is one particular beach here on Oahu that happens to attract some of our Hawaiian greasy turtles. These are an endangered species, so they are under federal protection. My niece is visiting and we decided to drop by this beach and see if there are any turtles hanging out. We see a crowd by the beach on one section of the beach and lo and behold, there are probably about a dozen turtles of various sizes swimming and eating in the water. We are snapping pictures and notice that one lady appears to be trying to feed the turtle. She is holding out some seaweed and eventually just tosses it in the water. Odd. Then I see a gentleman and his son in the water and his son starts petting one of the turtles in the shallow water. Now I am normally not a person that butts in, but I just could not help myself. Sir, your son cannot touch the turtles. They are protected and it is a $25,000 fine. No joke. The man and his son back up and kinda walk away. Then the lady trying to feed them is starting to try to pet them as well. So once again, I open my mouth and ask her to stop and tell her about the fine. She gives me a nasty look and her husband walks over to me and asks, What? Do you work here or something? I just look at him in my swimsuit, cutoffs and tank top and say, No, I live here. Just trying to let people know that they could get a huge fine for harassing the wild life. So there is my out of work here story. Keep tourists from messing with endangered species. What a good guy you are. Helping out Karens and Karens families. I hope they get that $25 fine though. They deserve it. If such a fine exists for doing this behavior, I bet there's a sign around telling the same. It would be odd that it will be no indication around it that you cannot pet or feed the turtles, but then if you do it, you get a fine of $25,000. Give us your money, Karen, and pay your dues to societies. <laughs> Stephanie wants me fired from my job. I've worked in retail before and found myself dealing with more rude people named Stephanie than Karen, so I am going to call this woman Stephanie instead. This incident occurred at my local bargain grocery store a few hours ago, where I was buying all kinds of junk food when I saw an elderly lady who was clearly very lost. She was wandering up and down the diary section for a good few minutes. I went up and down the whole aisle and she was still there, so I just asked her if there was anything I could help her find. Unfortunately, I asked this in earshot of Stephanie. Problem 1. This store does not have a very distinct color scheme for its dress code, and I was wearing rather plain clothes, like I normally do. If you were paying close attention, you might notice that, hey, 
My shirt does not even have the name of the store on it, and all the employee shirts do, but I doubt Stephanie was taking notes. Problem 2. I'd set down my hand basket on a shelf so I could help this elderly woman. So maybe the fact that I did not have any groceries on me in a grocery store indicated that I was a worker instead of a customer. Whatever it was, when I was finished helping the elder woman, Stephanie immediately started to ask me a question. I was not paying attention because she did not tap my shoulder, called out to me specifically or do the uh -huh thing. So I did not realize she was talking to me until she shouted hey at me. I turned around and looked at a very short, very unpleasant lady. Now that she had my undivided attention, she said, took you long enough? I ask you a damn question. I expect an answer. Ever the non-confrontational dude, I apologized and said, sorry, what was the question? Can you scan the price on this for me? She shoved a package of cake mix into my hands. I chuckled a bit and just said, ah, no, sorry, I can't because I don't have a scanner on me. I don't actually work here, but I can get a hold of someone who does for you. Stephanie scoffed at me. No, you do work here. You were helping someone else out a moment ago. Now help me. Oh, I was just helping her because she seemed lost and I like helping people out. Then why don't you help me out? Because I literally, physically cannot help you out with this. You're just lazy. Get me someone who will actually be helpful. Now, I was not too fond of pushing this lady's rude attitude on some poor minimum wage worker. But I also wanted to spend as little time within the vicinity of this woman as possible. In my quest to find an employee, I had a mini I don't work your lady moment myself but I eventually found a worker and brought him to aid Stephanie. Rather than interact with her one more time, I just pointed him in her general direction and let him take care of the formalities. Curiosity got the best of me. I decided to pretend to look at various pastas that I certainly was not going to buy while keeping an ear on the conversation that unfolded. Finally, someone competent, I hope, worker. A genuinely nice guy, I think. Haha, <laughs> I hope as well. How can I help you? Scan this. The worker scans it. Thank you. She rose her voice so that I could hear it. I guess my cover was blown. That was not so hard, was it? I guess not? Your co-worker there refused to help me. You should get him fired. And she points at me. Uh, I haven't seen him around, so I don't think he's my co-worker. Plus, he's not wearing uh, our outfit. I guess they do have one. I still don't know what it is though. No, believe me, he works there. Tell your manager to have him fired. Oh, okay. Is there anything else you needed? God bless his soul. No, that's all. The worker then left, presumably to tell his manager who never showed up. At this point, I was genuinely impressed by this woman's ability to confidently and assertively state things she had no real knowledge about. Despite my newfound admiration for Stephanie, I decided to head in the opposite direction of her so as to avoid any further interaction. It almost worked. I did not see her until I got in line and heard a familiar voice telling the cashier to get some guy fired. I had a feeling I knew who that guy was, so I avoided eye contact because I I heard that dogs are less likely to bark at you if you don't look them in the eyes. And while I am not sure how true that is, it certainly worked here. Stephanie got her stuff and got the hell out. I stepped up to the cashier, a woman in her mid 40s I think, who very clearly hated her job. Give it to me straight boss, I said. Am I fired? Guess so. She grumbled, not smiling at all. Well, I thought I was clever at least. So Stephanie was not pleasant at all and this cashier had no sense of humor. Interesting. Maybe they need some fire, so if you wanna help them, drop a fire emoji in the comments and I will ship it to them, somehow. Tra Remember that I am hosting a giveaway very shortly once we reach 2500 subscribers. I will be giving away 4 Amazon gift cards and I hope you will be able to participate and have fun with these cards so make sure you are subscribed to the channel to not miss it out. I wish you all a beautiful day and I hope you're doing your best to reach your dreams, live a fulfilled life, have fun and love the people around you.